Tonight with a high profile murder case back in a Hamilton County courtroom. Thanks a lot for joining us here at 530. I'm Mike Dardis and I'm Ashley Kirkland. A judge must decide whether an accused murderer will face the death penalty when he goes to trial. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller was in the courtroom this afternoon and joins us now with the very latest. Curtis. Well, Mike and Ashley, Deshaun Brown's attorneys say he is not mentally capable and should be excluded from the death penalty. Well, today's hearing before Judge Shanahan will determine that. Deshaun Brown led into the courtroom in handcuffs for a nearly three hour competency hearing before Judge Megan Shanahan. Brown facing murder charges related to the death of his girlfriend, Nitisha Lattimore, and the death of her three year old son, Nilo, a highly publicized case that happened in December of 2020. Police say Nitisha was stabbed to death. Her remains found in a body bag down by the river. Nilo's body has not been found, but police believe Brown dumped the boy in the river. It's clear to me that he made multiple steps to cover it up, that he tried to evade police later. Um, but at the time, based on his history, there was indications to me and concern for me that this was like an irresistible impulse type of behavior that he had difficulty controlling at the time. The judge heard from three experts who testified about Deshaun Brown's mental capacity. Their opinions were mixed, but they all said he denied any involvement in the murders. He um, did not want to talk about that time period at all. He gave it again that he had nothing to do with it. I mean, anybody say he didn't, they were lying. Also in the courtroom today, Nilo's father, who had to be escorted out of the courtroom, appearing frustrated, just seeing the suspect and listening to the testimony. You might remember he had to be restrained once before after attacking the suspect during another court hearing. Now back to today's hearing, the judge says she wants to review all of that testimony and all the documents that were submitted. She set September 26th, the morning of that date, to make a decision. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. Now, Curtis, you, you said, and we all remember, Nilo Lattimore's father, Tonio Hughes, was escorted out of the courtroom. Is he facing any issues from the judge because of the incident? Yeah, as far as today, no issues. I think the judge and both sides of this, the defense and the prosecution, they were well aware that this could be pretty tense, and they were just taking all precautions as I said, the, uh, the father of Nilo, he was, you know, just very uncomfortable back there, as you can imagine. And so I think they just wanted to play it safe, then sorry, and remove him from the courtroom so they wouldn't have another situation like they did before. Right. Curtis Fuller live for us. Thanks so much, Curtis. In other news, uh